In the last video, we talked about using Microsoft Planner inside of Teams. It's a brilliant way to manage your team's work in a channel, in a team, in Teams. But if you look at everything that needs to be done across your whole team, you could easily be overwhelmed. Now you could apply a filter to your plan so that you could just see your own personal tasks. But there is a better way to manage and prioritize the tasks that you've been assigned from a Microsoft Planner board within Teams. And that is with the Microsoft To Do app. Now, before we get to the Microsoft To Do app, I want to ask you, and maybe tell us in the comments below, have you ever used Microsoft Outlook tasks? Do you use them regularly? I'd say around 95% of people would say no to that question. They don't use Outlook tasks. On further questioning, around 50% of people tell me that they do flag emails in Outlook. Flagging an email in Outlook is actually a simple way of creating a task in Outlook. But that's beside the point because even though tasks have existed in Outlook for a very long time, very few people manage their tasks there. Why is that? Well, it's because Microsoft Outlook is a really bad place to manage tasks. Outlook is the place that you go to get messages. The communications that you receive there are usually from people asking you to do things. That represents other people's priorities. Now, of course, we need to respond to other people's needs. But if you simply spend all of your time responding to emails and completing tasks that others want you to do by email, well, you have no time to address your priorities. And being completely responsive to other people's priorities leaves you with no control over how you prioritize and categorize the things that you need to get done. If you don't have a plan, you become part of someone else's. The end result is that you complete each day and each week feeling like you've accomplished nothing. There's no sense of progress that comes from spending all of your time responding to emails because it simply never ends. Now, why are we talking about Outlook in a Teams video? Well, two reasons. Firstly, Microsoft To Do is actually built on the data storage of Outlook known as Microsoft Exchange. In other words, a to-do list in Microsoft To Do is a task list in Microsoft Outlook. You'll see what I mean as we get into this video. And secondly, you can add Microsoft To Do as an app inside of Microsoft Teams. Click on the three dots in the left-hand navigation bar of Teams, and you should see Tasks by Planner and To Do. If you don't see it there, search for it. Right-click on it and pin it to the navigation bar. So there's your personal task list with Microsoft To Do right there in Teams. And now that you've done that, I'm gonna suggest that that's actually a bad idea. Because just like Outlook, Microsoft Teams is a tool of communication. And the communications that you'll receive here are also filled with other people asking you to do things. So it's important to have access to your to-do list inside of Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook, but both of those apps are really bad places to plan your day and to plan your week. So instead of planning to plan your day in Outlook or Teams, I'd highly recommend that you download the Microsoft To-Do app on your PC and on your mobile devices. You'll find the Microsoft To-Do app in the Microsoft Store, the Apple App Store, or the Google Play Store. For all of those platforms, the Microsoft To Do app allows you to sign into both a work and a personal account. That allows you to create tasks and task lists and even share task lists with others in both your home and work domains. To Do has a brilliant feature that allows you to pull tasks together from your Outlook task list, your flagged emails, and the planner boards that you share with your teams. It's called My Day. This place brings all of those tasks together in one place that's dedicated to helping you progress through the things that you need to do each day. No other distractions, no noise, just you and your to-do list. And if you can't download the Microsoft To Do app, you can simply go to the website todo.microsoft.com. Consider making it your homepage so that every time you open your web browser, you're focused on your task list. There are many ways to add tasks to Microsoft To Do. You can add a new task in the app or the To Do website. By the way, that task will show up instantly in your Outlook task list too. In Outlook on the desktop, you could drag an email onto your task list, save it, and it would show up in your Microsoft To Do app. On the Outlook mobile apps, you could open an email, click on the three dots, and create a task in Microsoft To Do. And in Teams, you could right-click on a chat message or a conversation on a channel, select the three dots, and create a task from a communication right there in Teams. You can add more detail and change the content of the task in the Microsoft To Do app. You can embed links, comments, and files in the app. You can change the due date and track your progress here too. And as we've been going through this series, no doubt you're getting the idea that Microsoft Teams is much more than just a communications tool. It's a platform that you can build your own solutions on top of. 
One simple way that you can extend the functionality of Microsoft Teams is to use another Office 365 tool called Power Automate. For example, I have a simple flow set up in Power Automate that automatically assigns a new task to a planner board to all of the members of our team when a new video drops here on YouTube. That task reminds us to go onto LinkedIn and to post that video to our feed. And the task shows up in the To Do app on all of our devices and it's completely automated. So Microsoft Planner is a great place to plan with your team in Teams. And Microsoft To Do is the best place to turn those plans into actions at a personal level. Personal planning and productivity is something that we assume is common knowledge within our organizations, but it is not. So use this video and take the time to discuss this tip with your team. It's only through constant discussion, evaluation, coaching and training that you can improve your digital skills and transform the way you work. Tell us what planning tools you use in Teams in the comments below. And in our next video, we'll take a look at how you can work together with your team on files in Teams. So make sure that you've hit subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you know about our upcoming videos on Teams as soon as they drop.